地方。This video is going to be amazing. I am literally so excited. I've been wanting to film this for so long because I've been ordering or getting PR things in the mail for the past like month and a half, two months for a trip that we are going on. We are going on a big Europe trip. Casey and I have never gone out of the country before. He just got a passport this year. We got married during COVID, so we didn't really get to go anywhere then. And so we are so excited for this trip. That being said, we're going to Paris for four days and then we are flying to Switzerland and camper vanning. Across Switzerland, we rented a van from Indie Campers, is the rental company. And we're just so excited because it's supposed to be like peak fall foliage while we're in Switzerland and then Paris will be so cozy in the fall. Obviously, the weather is just starting to change and it's going to be amazing. With that being said, I wanted to film a pack with me for you guys so you could kind of see what I'm bringing, what I would like recommend bringing on a trip like this because it's what I'm bringing, but I also wanted to make it into like a fall haul because that way, if you're not going on like a trip soon, these are obviously things that you can wear in the US in the fall or wherever you're from in the fall. And just some of them are great cozy basics, literally like this tank top, these little Amazon boxer shorts, like Uggs. I'm gonna be linking everything in the description. So I think first of all, we're gonna kind of talk through like what different outfits I'm gonna bring, like cute outfits, active or cozy wear, shoes, cute little accessories, that kind of thing. So let's get started. Okay, so I figured that we would start with active wear and cozy clothes because that's what we're gonna be wearing on the airplane and honestly camper vanning that's what we're gonna be wearing a lot of the time also because we're gonna be in the car a lot all of the outfits i'm about to show in this like first two three minutes of the video are going to be from halara halara is sponsoring today's video so thank you halara i literally am obsessed with all these pieces and they're so cozy so i'm gonna kind of like put them on and talk about each one for you guys i got some things that are like not exactly active wear, but just a little bit more cozy that I could even wear with like a sweater, like going to get coffee or just kind of like chilling around the Airbnb room, whatever. But then most of it is like leggings and little active wear sets. So I'm going to put some of those on and let you guys know how they fit. Okay, this one is my favorite. So I put it on first for you guys, but it is this little like navy blue color. I am obsessed with it. And with the bump, like I know my bump's not that big yet, but I feel like this outfit is so flattering for like the gym or just for like a casual errands fit. I actually have it on with Uggs right now just because cozy, you know, and I love a little platform look with some leggings, but this is so cute. It's so soft. I love the like V. It's just really flattering. I feel like on the hips with the belly and then this top also has like a little bit of a V, super stretchy and comfy. So these leggings with the V are actually called their padded off leggings because they're made to be super easily removable when you get like pet hair on them. So we don't have a pet, you guys know, we don't have a cat or a dog or anything, but if we did, the hair just like comes off, like even <laughs> if my hair got on it, like it just like comes off so easily. The material is made to just be able to rub that off so that you, if you are someone with pets, it's super easy to just get that off because I feel like that's the most annoying thing in the world, especially with black leggings. So if you need a new pair of black leggings and you have a pet, you should totally get these because I feel like it would just be such a blessing to have a pair that your cat hair did not get stuck to. Okay, and then these next leggings I'm about to show you are their Cloudful 3.0 leggings and they are just perfect. I'm definitely bringing these and wearing them with like an oversized flannel and Uggs because they're so comfortable. They are probably other than the yoga pants, my top like travel pick just because I think the yoga pants are cuter because I love the flare at the bottom and then the V. But these fit so good. They're so breathable and I think they're called cloudful because they're supposed to feel light because they do feel light. But they also have like an added pocket for your phone and I've actually used that so much when I go on quick walks and things and I'm like working and then I'm just like, oh, I want like five minutes without my phone. I just like stick it in the side pocket. If you guys are liking anything that you see, I actually have a code with them. I'll put it right here, KS15 for a little bit of a discount. And I'm linking all of these items in the description box. So feel free to like check out their whole website and see and browse what else they have because they have so much stuff. But if you want anything of what I got, it will be all linked specifically in the description box for you. So next I wanted to show these little flare yoga pants. They're literally so fun. I'm obsessed with them. I literally remember last fall seeing people wear like the flare yoga pants with the V like this. 
and thinking when I'm pregnant, I want some like that just because I feel like they're so flattering and I'm right. They're flattering for the bump, the, the booty. And also they're so comfy, literally so comfortable. And I just paired it with this little black crop top. It's like almost the same as the blue one I was wearing. Um, these I feel like are about to become my new gym staples. Like, and even with like jeans, like this is just so cute. <sighs> Guys, it's so hard to film this right now because I just get so out of breath during pregnancy when I'm talking. But I just feel like it's so cute. The material is so comfortable and it will literally go either like underneath overalls or with active wear or whatever. So I'm super excited to have a couple of these little basic tops. I got two of them just because I was like obsessed with them. Loved about these was the purple color. This and then I think that blue set that I just had on were my two favorite colors that they had. I just feel like they're both such flattering colors. They're good like muted colors too because in the fall I feel like I don't like to wear bright colors. I really am a bright color girl in the summer. Like give me the yellows, the bright blues, pinks, everything. But I feel like for fall and winter, I really do like neutrals a little bit more, but still being able to have a pop of color in my wardrobe while feeling semi-neutral with like the navy and then this purple is chef's kiss. This tank top is a moment. Wore it to the gym yesterday. Wore it to my OBGYN appointment yesterday. It's so stretchy, has amazing padding and it's just super flattering. So I think these pants were one of my favorites to either dress up or dress down. Cause if you wear them with like a cute little top or a t-shirt or a sweater, they're literally so cute. These like baggy, cozy trousers are so comfy. So Halara actually has a couple things that I was looking at for Europe that are not like active wear, but I already had a ton of like cute fall clothes set for the trip. So I mainly went with active wear cause I needed more like cozy, travel stuff um but they have tons of great options for like normal clothes too one more thing that i wanted to note about like all this activewear is that it's not overpriced and it's super comfy so you're getting casual comfy but at like an actual affordable price and it's super cute and i think now we're about to move on to like pjs cozy clothes for around the airbnb sleeping clothes maybe even sets i would walk to like coffee in more like cozy sweaters and matching sets vibes if you will but i wanted to put my code here one more time ks15 um if you guys are interested in getting anything from Halara, once again it's linked in the description and thank you Halara, for sponsoring today's video okay so I think I'm only bringing these two little jammy sets. This little pinky one, it is the coziest material. It is from Z Supply. I got it at South Moon Under. I can also link these in the description if y'all are interested, but they're literally so comfortable. So I'm thinking that I'll probably wear this and like a cozy little jacket as my jammies in the van. And then obviously our Airbnb in Paris won't be like that cold. So I can wear jammies like this. And this is one of those little matching sets that like, oh yeah, this could be jammies or wear around the Airbnb, but also you could wear her to coffee and it's so cute. It's this other little Z Supply set I also got at South Moon Under. It's so cute. The shorts have little pockets. If I don't wear the Halara on the plane, I was thinking of wearing this because it's super comfy too, but I like that the Halara are leggings and just keeps everything like... I don't know, I like to wear leggings on an airplane because then I don't feel like I'm touching everything or I don't get too cold or too hot because the leggings are thin versus shorts. Kind of a risky sometimes I feel like on flights, you never know. But this set is so cute and I'm so excited to wear it. And then I'm bringing this, which I would not really say is like a fall haul, but it is like a jacket and it's super cute. I'll insert some pictures too. But it's one of our future launches for Hila the First. You guys have seen me post on Instagram if you follow me there about this design, this little disco guy dancing with Dance Fun Disappointment written underneath it. It was like the design for our retreat. But anyways, this one is launching soon. So I wanted to bring it as kind of just like a get product pictures in Switzerland because the mountains are going to be beautiful. And then also like as just a cozy little cover up for me when I just need a chill jacket. And then I feel like the only other like cozy clothes thing that I'm forgetting is I'm bringing this little tank top and a couple other like basic neutrals from Natural Life. This is kind of like a staple for most of the things I'm wearing, like this little long sleeve top underneath overalls. This is also from Natural Life. It's just so comfy. I'll have this linked on my like to know it for you guys. I got in a massive like fall PR package from Natural Life a couple weeks ago. So I'm super excited to have all those goody basics and cute little pieces from them. This is another one, just this little white 
sheer shirt once again to wear under things and i actually got these little boxer shorts on amazon that are so comfy they're like a plaid look and i was thinking this like wearing with these and some uggs could be a super cute like chilling in the van getting coffee kind of day outfit so i'm excited for this little cozy fit as well and before we move on to like really cute outfits like dresses and i have a suzane set i'm wearing a free people dress i have some really cute stuff i'm really excited to show y'all um, we'll do those pieces next and then I'll do like coats and outerwear and like jeans and that kind of thing. And then we'll do shoes and then I'll pack toiletries and that'll kind of be like the video. But I wanted to show you guys this because it's so cute. So cute. So I'm not sure I'm like ready. Do I want to show this? I just don't know. It's been in the works for so long that I'm like, when do I like announce it? I'll like incognito announce it here. I won't really say what's happening, but I will say that we're getting product photos of something for something while we're in Europe. And I'll probably like cry. Like I will. <laughs> like I'm not even telling you guys what it is yet. Y'all are like, you're so strange. But I'm bringing this little um, overall set that we have made and this little hat. They're both corduroy and they're so cute. And I don't want to say what it is yet because I want to like be able to announce and like really talk about my heart for what that is in that video. Um, and it's like not coming yet, but that will be like our first product picture for something. If you can't connect the dots um, on that, then sorry, I'll tell you later. <laughs> A little sneak peek of how perfect this is about to be whenever it happens if you know what I mean okay now let's jump into cute outfits after that exciting but random blurb so I'm going to show you guys um I think dresses and kind of like extra I have like one really cute extra set from Suzanne um and then I think we'll go into like jeans and sweaters and stuff like that and then we'll do outerwear shoes like I said wrap up the video okay so this dress is from a brand called English Factory and it's literally perfect. I got it at South Moon Under though. And this pattern, like I saw it on the shelf and I was like, fall, must have her with the Eiffel Tower, fall leaves in the background. Like literally, she's the moment. This is another one that I'm like not sure I'm even ready to wear. It's so freaking cute. This one is Free People and it's a little bit big. I feel like it even like looks loose kind of in the video like right now on the viewfinder, but the extra small was like a little too small and they didn't have this color in an extra small and this cream color was really what I just loved. The little lace details, like, oh my gosh, in Paris, it's just going to be so stunning. I'm so excited. And since it's silk, it really like flatters the bump that's kind of like half there, half not there, you know? I love it so much, but this one is for people also from South Moon Under. The little button details on the back, like down here. I think it's so flattery and cute. One of our friends that we're really close to from Atlanta, they don't live in Atlanta anymore, but they're actually going to be in Paris at the exact same time as us. And she's a wedding photographer and she shot like a couple little things for me. She shot some of our friends' weddings before and we just like love her style. She's great. And she's going to be in Paris and we were like texting about getting coffee. And I was like, are you bringing your camera? Because baby bump. And she was like, oh my gosh, yes, we should get a couple. So we might get a couple and I'll either wear this dress or like that fall one if we do any pictures, like with the Eiffel Tower or something fun because I feel like they're both just such like statement pieces. They are so freaking cute and I'm so excited to wear these. It's like my extra outfits. All my extra outfits are Paris and then my cool like down to earth fall outfits are for Switzerland. Okay, so this is like my extra little Suzanne outfit. I am so excited. Also, I hope I'm saying that right, Suzanne. It's this little like Paris brand, <laughs> Paris brand. So I feel like it's perfect to wear it in Paris, but I feel so extra in this outfit. I think I'm going to wear it with my black, like chunky Doc Martens and some jewelry. And it is just so cute. So fall. I'll also definitely still wear this jacket with like jeans in Switzerland. With the skirt, I was scared this skirt was not going to fit as my bump grew, but it still does. And it's literally so cute. And next, I have my sister-in-law's massive Levi's overalls. They're so freaking cozy. I'm just going to be wearing cute basic tees underneath. Probably this one because it's like a darker fall look. I just still have this Cezanne top on. Um, but this in Switzerland. And then I think... I am going to bring this Free People flannel I have to have like over this and like some cozy Uggs on. Like, yes, I'm so excited. And we also are bringing so many beanies. 
I also have an orange one somewhere. I don't know where I put it. But I'm just so excited because it's not even going to be like that cold. I think it's like 50s when we're going to be there in Switzerland. 40s, maybe 30s at night in the higher mountains and stuff. Um, but it's cold enough to wear like I, a Florida girl, can wear warmer clothes. So I'm really excited to wear these as we like walk around like a cozy little mountain town because it's just getting cozy. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to try on the next couple things. I think I'm just going to show you guys because these are not like for sure outfits. They're just like pieces I'm bringing to make outfits. So this is kind of like my, oops, my pants rack. Like I have a couple other things, obviously sweatpants and different things I'm bringing. But jeans are hard right now because yeah, I'm not like massive pregnant, but my belly is big enough to where I don't fit any of my old jeans. So I actually have these old Lance in jeans that were my mom's. They're giving very much so mom jean. Um, they're kind of the same fade as this like Levi's, but they're so comfortable because they're so worn since she wore them. I've worn them for years. I wore them in high school and would like tie them up with a bandana on the side, but they fit right underneath my belly buttoned perfectly right now. And if they get too tight, I can just unbutton that top button. And I'll also probably be wearing these with like a sweater that covers the buttoned area anyway so if you need to like unbutton after I eat I can do that but I'm bringing these as like my staple you just need a pair of jeans kind of thing and then I'm bringing these fun Alfred Eden corduroy pants if you followed me on Instagram for a while then I wore these last fall a lot they're just like so perfect for fall I feel like they have this little like scrunch at the bottom but I will probably be wearing these also with my flannel or some cozy sweaters and bringing a couple sweaters I'm about to show y'all too and then my last kind of like pants thing that I'm bringing is this skirt that I also got at South Moon Under so this still barely fits the bump but once again I can kind of push it under and maybe unbutton that top button but I love the little slit at the bottom I feel like this is more of a Paris piece than a Switzerland piece but I might wear it in both I loved the pockets. It's just literally so cute. I could wear it with like a turtleneck like this or moving on to our sweaters. My two or three, I think I'm just bringing these three. I'm trying to minimize you guys, but we're struggling because I want to bring everything. But this is like the softest thing I've ever owned. It is this stripey like knit cardigan slash sweater that like zips down. It's from the French collection. I got a size small, but it fits oversized. And it is also from the South Moon Under haul that I got. And this is another Alfred Eden piece from last fall that I wore a ton. It's so comfy. It's pretty thick, so it's really warm. And it's just such a classic like fall pattern, I feel like. I think this will be more of a Switzerland piece, but I also would wear it in Paris if I just like wanted something cozy. Last little cozy sweater I was planning on bringing is this one from Natural Life. It's just so freaking comfy. It's not itchy. I could even like wear it under these overalls if it was really cold one day. I could wear it with some of my little matching sets bottoms with some of my Halara leggings. I could really wear it with anything. It's just so comfy and it'll probably honestly go on over my PJs if the van is cold or something. So I'm really excited to have this and just have it paired with like leggings and Uggs and stuff throughout the trip because it's so cozy and cute. Okay, and then I wanted to show you guys a couple outerwear pieces that I'm bringing that I'm also still trying to like narrow down because I'll probably only bring like two of these coats. I already put like my nice Nike running jacket back because I'm having too much pubic pain to where I'm like not running right now because it's just causing me so much pain. So I like put some of my warmer running clothes back because I was like, I want to have cuter clothes since I'm not really going to be running there anyways. But I want to bring this so bad. I got this from, um, it's Lely's is the name of the brand, but I think I got it from Clad and Cloth last fall. It is just this massive oversized, when I say massive, you guys, it's like so long like it's so extra so extra but it's so warm and cozy and just like going through a little mountain town in switzerland or if it's like really cold in paris one day like wearing it with one of those dresses as like a throwover it's just like so comfy i love it so much so i really want to bring this but it's going to take up so much room in my suitcase so I'm really trying to debate, which I have, I get a check bag for all of our flights, like even our connecting flight from Paris to Switzerland, we have to get check bags. Casey's bringing a carry-on, but it's like on the bigger side of the carry-on. 
um, and then I'm bringing a check back. So we'll see how everything fits, but I really, really want to bring this because it's just literally so freaking cozy. And last but not least, I actually forgot to show this earlier because it was in this jacket, but this is a little Eddie Bauer jacket that I got gifted like a month ago. It's just this little yellow rain jacket. I'm definitely bringing this just in case it rains if we do like a simple hike in Switzerland. And then I also got this cute little graphic tee at South Moon Under I meant to show earlier. And this is a turtleneck I've had forever. But I'm bringing this to wear with like one of my denim pieces or underneath something like these overalls. Um, because it's just so cute. But even for one of our hiking days, if it's chillier, I could wear something like that. Um, underneath this Eddie Bauer cute, cute, cute yellow jacket. I also think this outfit, the yellow jacket with my black um, platform Doc Martens could be so cute. So I'm definitely bringing this jacket. Last but not least, this is another one I am debating on because I feel like in Switzerland, I'll mainly be wearing like outdoorsy clothes since we are kind of camping in a van and hiking some. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to hike with my pubic bone pain that I have. I have something called pubic symphysis dysfunction. It's like very common for pregnant women to get. I just got it super early, um, at like 17 weeks, which is okay. But just like really painful to do walking, running, lunges, um, kind of like dual leg movements like that. So we'll see how much I get to hike or walk. Um, but if we get to hike a couple times, I want to have like a couple cute outfits, you know? So I have this little vest from, um, natural life. And then this little long sleeve pullover, this will also be like an adorable undershirt with like, the overalls or whatever um so i'm bringing this and i think just gonna wear it with leggings um some of the holar ones i got would match this so well like that purple color or the navy and so i think i'm going to bring this for like my second hiking outfit other than that eddie bauer jacket <sighs> i feel like we need to take a second to breathe this is a lot of talking you guys it's a lot of things that we're packing here and then last but not least, I wanted to show you guys before we pack toiletries what shoes and like cute little accessories I'm bringing. So first up, we've got our Uggs. This is last year's purchase. These are the little platform Taz Uggs. I wear them freaking every day, either with socks or without socks. They're just so cute with shorts, with jeans, with literally whatever. Obsessed with them. Link to my like to know it. There's also an Amazon dupe going around that I'll link as well. And then these are this year's purchase. They're so cute and cozy. I've literally worn them like out once because I just got them in the mail. But they are the UGG mini platforms. And once again, they just go with like everything. I'm really excited to wear them at the airport with like leggings. So freaking comfy and cozy on the inside. So I'm bringing both of these pairs of Uggs. My mom also just got me these hokas for my birthday because we're actually going to be in Paris during my birthday. So she was like, what do you want? And I was like, why do you need running shoes? So she ordered these for me and they're so cute. They're very out there, not very fall, but obviously for hiking or Switzerland or whatever, it'd be good to have. And I really, 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 really like this is like my dream trip to like run on like through the streets of Paris and then like through the mountains in Switzerland. Like I would literally kill to be able to run. But like I said, my pubic pain, I think is too much. It's just like not smart. I'll be miserable if I run if I'm even able to run so I might not bring these guys but I literally got them this week and I was so excited to like run in my new shoes and then my pubic pain just got like so bad the last run I did so I was like probably not which is sad but I'm bringing these if I plan on running any and if not then I'm not gonna bring them because I won't need really tennis shoes because we won't be like working out we'll be walking but I have like other shoes I can walk in I'm still debating on these just because I am bringing a lot of shoes and I don't have much room. But these are my Birkenstock, Boston Birkenstock dupes. They're very worn in. They're Amazon. I'll have them linked. I think they looked almost just as good as the real thing. Obviously, I'd rather have the real thing, but my size was still sold out this year, like after they restocked. And so I'm bringing my dupes. I got Casey real ones for his birthday. So it's funny because now he has real ones and I have dupes. They're also sent over from Eddie Bauer and I am obsessed with them. They're not really like hiking shoes. They're more like streetwear shoes, but they have enough grip. And like I said, cause my pubic bone and pregnancy, we're not doing any crazy hard hikes. So I think these are going to be like my little sporty hiking shoes just because they have good grip and they're comfortable. I tried them on a couple times. They're this kind of like suede material. I love the colors. They go with both of my little hiking outfits. So these are super cute. Last but not least are these docks. So I'm obsessed with these docks. They're amazing, but they're so extra and they're so freaking heavy. Literally feels like five to 10 pounds at least. And I'm like, I don't think my bag's going to be over 50 pounds, 
but these would be the thing I'd have to like get out and put on at the airport if it was over 50 pounds. So I'm like, should I bring them? But I think I am just because especially in Switzerland, I feel like it could be like rainy money where we're going and these are like perfect. Like they will not get messed up at all by the rain. They're pretty comfortable surprisingly based on the way they look. They fit me great. They make any outfit so cute because they're platform and their boots. So I just like really want to have them even though they take up so much room. So we're going to make these and this blue coat fits somehow in the suitcase, you guys. And for random little accessories, I'm bringing a little bikini because the water in Switzerland is still not like super cold yet. So it's not to where like I couldn't get in. It would kind of feel like a cold plunge, but not like so cold that it's not safe for pregnancy or anything. So we might jump in a couple little bit chilly lakes. So I'm bringing this from, um, I think the brand is Alma Ola. I'm working with them on Instagram and their swimsuits are so freaking cute and comfy. And then for the rest of my accessories, I'm bringing so many cute little pairs of socks. Like I feel like with Uggs, you just have to have really cute socks. I need to wash these, but if you guys saw on my Instagram, I got the polo, the Ralph Lauren like polo socks. They're so freaking cute. Um, and these with Uggs also are just adorable. And I think it's the cutest trend. And they're only like 15 bucks. So I'll link those for my like to know it too. Um, but definitely gonna be wearing these. And I got these little leg warmers. I know they don't look like the cutest here, but I'll insert the vision picture like with Uggs here. Super, super cute vision, I'll say it. I don't know how they're gonna fit, we'll see. But I got these on Amazon for like seven bucks and I was like, we'll just mess around with it and see if it's cute. Like I said, we're bringing some beanies and I'm really just, I'm not good at packing jewelry. So I think I'm gonna wear a set of my Coastline Color shell jewelry and then maybe pack, obviously wear like my wedding ring, just have my rings on. I'm also getting, my nails done like a brown fall color for the trip so I'm so excited for that I think I'm gonna do like a glazed donut fall look so like brown with like um what's it called the Hailey Bieber kind of glazed look over it and I think it's gonna be so cute so we'll see how that turns out but yeah jewelry wise I'm just gonna be wearing a pair wearing my rings and then I might pack an extra necklace or two I need to like dig through all my drawers and find more of my jewelry because it always goes missing and I just wear the same thing for so long. That's one of my goals for, I feel like end of the year into the new year as I get jewelry, keeping it more organized, getting like a jewelry box and just keeping things untangled and not ruining my jewelry, so. And I feel like the last thing other than toiletries that I'm cramming in my bag is this. I ordered it on Amazon like two days ago. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, we recently hit 80K and I was gonna do like an 80K giveaway but I didn't because we just kept rapidly growing. We just hit 90K. And so I was like, well, the giveaway I was gonna do was like some of my favorite like morning routine essentials. And I was like, what if we wait till 100K and I actually spend like more money on it? Cause I really wanna get somebody a Jerf Avenue robe. I'm just like, that is the epitome of my morning routine. I wear it every freaking day. And then like coffee and some other things. I love journals, whatever, from my morning routine that I was gonna do for the 80K giveaway. Now it's gonna be like all together for the 100K giveaway when or if we hit that. But I <laughs> ordered these like $5, 100 balloons on Amazon that I could like blow up and be such an extra influencer, but then just take like a 100K picture in like the Swiss Alps if we hit it. Cause who knows if we will, cause social media, you just never know. So we hit 100K on TikTok like last month and then 100K on YouTube last month. You guys saw me get my plaque in the last video. So I just like feel so grateful. Like I've just been growing so much on social media and it's just been like so crazy just how quick everything has been growing. Like even before we announced our pregnancy, I just felt like um, everything was growing so quick and obviously like sometimes baby, pregnancy, whatever content can do really well on social media. So stuff has been growing so much. If you're new here, thank you guys for following along. If you're old here, thank you for following along. I have so much fun doing this as my job and I love it. But anyways, with that being said, I'm packing this and I feel so lame saying it, but this little 100K balloon just in case because I want to get like a fun um, photo just to be like, yay, thank you guys, whatever on Instagram and then say like stay tuned for a giveaway when I get back home um, of something exciting, whatever, and like tease that giveaway because I'm so excited to bless somebody with that because it's like all my favorite little morning things that I just think will make someone's day. So yeah. And then I'll insert a little clip of like packing my toiletries, kind of what I'm bringing, obviously my skincare. Since I am checking a bag, I can kind of bring whatever I want, but I'm still going to run by um, Publix and a couple other places I need to get like 
a new eyeliner. I just bought a new hairbrush at Marshalls. There's just a couple little things that I need to get still. So I'm not like putting everything in my suitcase right now, but I am going to kind of start like rolling clothes up and seeing at least how things fit. And then I'll add in my toiletries tomorrow or Friday morning, right before we leave for the airport. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so freaking excited. I've like never been this excited for a trip. I'm also nervous just because it's a different country and there's so many random things that we're doing that I'm like, oh my gosh, is everything going to be okay? But it will be. It's just so fun and sometimes it's like, ah, until you get there when you're planning it. But I'm so excited to bring you guys along. We'll do a Paris vlog and then a Switzerland vlog as well and hopefully be able to like recommend some places if you guys are planning a trip or anything like that. But once again, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in anything Halara or anything else that you saw in the video, if it's not linked in the description, make sure you comment below and I can get a link for you guys. And don't forget to use KS15 if you get anything from Halara so you can get a little bit of a discount. And see you guys in Europe. That's literally crazy. I'm so excited. <laughs>